Right, I think I'm live. Hi guys, and welcome to a live stream. Something a little bit different. We're gonna have a look at a huge haul of Lego I picked up. Hey George. Um, I haven't really looked at this since I bought it. Uh, must be two or three weeks ago. It's way more than this, it's about 35 kilos. So you've got th these here, these are really nice. These are the official um, Lego branded, look at the dust on there, Lego branded ones, so I've got three of them. These are loads and loads of figures and Star Wars stuff, really cool stuff. And then behind me is that, there's one, two, three, four, five of these great big crates. So this was a contact I picked up at, oh hi there guys, lots of people popping in. This was a contact I got at a car boot sale. Um, I bought a bunch of Playmobil off a guy and he says to me, oh yeah, that's like three or four quid or whatever for, I think it was the zoo that I was selling the other week. And he said, oh, the Lego down there, yeah, three or four quid, whatever it was. And I said, that's not Lego, by the way, that's Playmobil. And he said, oh, is there any money in Lego? And I was like, yeah. And um, he said, well, my, my kid's got loads of it. So I said, well, I'm really interested. I'll give you my number, thought nothing of it. A few weeks later, we got he got in touch because he'd been on holiday. Cut long story short, I ended up buying 35 kilos of Lego and a massive bundle of Nerf, which is all under here. Well, not that one actually, but everything else. There's about 10, 15 guns. I paid 180 quid the lot. The Lego was 150. So yeah, hi guys, hi Swamp. 35 kilos of Lego, yeah. Yeah, I, I like Lego, I can handle Lego. Been doing it for years, hi Mike. Who else is in? George, Paul, Mia, hello, hello. So if you're not into Lego, this is basically gonna be me discovering how good this pickup was, hopefully. I know it's pretty good because I've had a quick peek in these, and obviously I saw it when I went to pick it up, but I bought it on weight, really. And I've pulled out all the manuals, and there's a few sets in here. The guy has assured me that well, as the sellers always do, yeah, everything's in there, blah, blah, blah. Um, but if it is, I think I've done pretty well. There's some um, Star Wars stuff, etc. So I'm going to have a look through it, and I thought I'd come on here and have a chat with you guys while I did. Uh, George says, perfect timing going live in the middle of wrapping weekend orders. Uh, I got mine out today. I think I shipped 32 today. Um, a bunch of that was Amazon Merchant Fulfilled stuff, not all eBay. Yes, Paul, 180, and that included all the Nerf, um, and I'll get most of my money back on the Nerf, potentially there's some good stuff in that. Well, maybe not. Maybe about 100 pounds worth of Nerf. And then 35, roughly, of kilos of Lego. So anyway, I'm going to have a quick look through the books first. This is nice. This is Lego Elves. I think it's part of the Friends. Yeah, it's got the Friends style figures. So hopefully that's all in there. Whether I'm going to make these sets up depends on the, the value of the sets. There's loads of these little ones that almost certainly won't be worth. Oh, that's Disney. Don't know if there's any. I've not had these before. These again are the new style Lego Friends figures. I did have one kicking about on here, actually, from a while back. These, here you go. You know what Lego minifigures normally look like? Lego Friends ones are like that. They look more sort of human form, a little bit taller. Um, so yeah, apparently they do Disney ones. So that looks like Brave. So hopefully I'll find her in here somewhere. Oh, another Disney one, Cinderella. So there's loads of these little sets. Friends again, bunch of city stuff. I have made up these before, but it depends if they're, you know, if it's half built up in these boxes, it'll be worth me doing, but we'll see. But the stuff that really piqued my interest when I went to pick it up was all the Star Wars stuff. And I've had a look in one or two of these just peeked in. Oh my God, there's so many figures. Star Wars, Ninjago, Lego Movie. But yeah, the cool stuff is stuff like this. Check that out. And I'm pretty sure 
Is it this one? Part of that building is in here, I think. Oh. <laughs> if you're anything like me, this box will, will get you all excited. Look at that. If that's not a quality box of Lego, I don't know what is. Yeah, look, this is what I looked, saw earlier. So it looks like that set is in bits in here. See what I mean? That's going to be one of the ends of that. So that shouldn't be too hard to put together if the rest of it's in here. And I can see chunks of it. See, there you go. And was it that one? I pulled out one of these books and looked up the set. I can't remember which one now. And it was like about an 80 quid set or something. 75052. I would go into eBay, but I've got my hands full. 75052. Anyone got a window open they can check that on eBay? Just give me an idea. Hey, Sue, how are you doing? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. <laughs> I said Sue, not Siri. Go away, Siri. I've got a new phone. Well, I've got Andrew's phone, and Andrew's just bought an iPhone 8. So I've now got Andrew's phone, which was a little bit better than mine. But it's pink, so I'm <laughs> not too keen on having a rose gold like pink whatever rose gold pink you know what i mean um anyway i digress so yeah hopefully all of that is in there um stephen moore that green dewback goes for a bit yeah i wouldn't be surprised someone's put a little stormtrooper on there's so much good stuff in here this could be one of my better lego pickups i think um £10 a kilo. Is £10 a kilo a good buying price? Yes, if it's quality. If it's of this quality, yes. I mean, I managed to get this for about £5 a kilo, which I would have paid for any any Lego. Um, £78 with box for 75052, says Peter. Thank you. Maybe 50 to 60. There you go. Happy days. So, so that's that, I think. Yeah, it's a double... Double instructions. It doesn't look much to it. And this speeder, whatever it's called, is sitting on top of the box, partially made up. It's in really good nick as well. Looks like it's been built and maybe had on display. So I would put fairly good money on the fact that these are going to be complete, if not if not 100% near complete. So, yeah, that's a good start. So what else have we got here? See, more Star Wars. Lovely bunch of figures with a lot of these. So I'm going to flick through these a bit quick. Here's a good Star Wars one. Oh, wow. Got Imperial Guard figures. It's the Emperor. I think, actually, is that that? Is that that? No, that's not part of that, is it? What's that? Oh, this looks like the, um, is this that droid ship where all the droids come out? You know, in episode one. Is that what that is? Here's the, uh, I just had a green here, this one. Okay. Looks like this is mostly built. Obviously missing bits and bobs, but that's, that's in there. That one, I doubt there'll be much value on it. 75091. Just having a look in the chat. I think that was a white Wookiee on the Jubek, was it? My eyesight is so bad. Hang on, let me find it again. <coughs> yes, it is a white Wookiee. It looked like a, a stormtrooper with one of those larger helmets on, but yeah, that's a white Wookiee. How cool is that figure? I've never seen that before. Let me take him off. Never seen him. There are so many figures. I'll have a rummage in a minute, see what else we can find. Just gonna finish going through these books. So yeah, there's loads of Star Wars. Um, like I say, a bunch of Friends stuff. So that's the one we were just looking at. More Star Wars, City, 
Another Star Wars. Ooh. That's got an R2 and another figure. I think I saw an R2 lurking somewhere. Oh, maybe not. Um, yeah, so loads of it. Oh, superheroes. I'm sure I saw that Hulk when I peeked in a box. I have all I've done basically is lifted the lids off, had a look, and then I put it away. I've been so busy dealing with the charity auction and other stuff that's been going on. I haven't had a minute. But it looks like there's going to be the large Hulk figure in here somewhere. Star Wars, little Star Wars sets again, more Star Wars, Ninjago, and on and on and on. So let's have a rummage, I think. Ah, uh, Creo. Yeah. City, city, city. I don't know how many sets that is, but oh, let's have a look. So this is the first of these. I've got three of these um, official Lego containers, which themselves have some value. I can't remember what I've sold them for in the past. It's been ages. So that's what's in here. I didn't see the instructions for this, but do you reckon that's the... Uh, Oh, like droid sort of command ship where they all come out of. That's what it looks like to me. It's got wheels here, so it sort of rumbles along. Uh, probably best. Oh, hold on. So I'm just trying to read a comment. Last time I built up the Star Wars, my son ended up with four sets, says, says C. He's 37, cheeky little sod. Stealing your, stealing your Star Wars. That green ship sells, I've sold all of them before. Nice one, Stephen. Yeah, I'll have no trouble selling it. It's just whether I, whether it's worth my time building these up. With the Star Wars, considering it's, it's already, you know, pretty well made, I'll probably go for it. Plus, I enjoy it anyway. Right, I'm going to siphon this stuff off into here and see what figures we can dig out. There's parts of that building again. Aha, now that was, that's a ship pretty much built. I'm not sure what that was from. Isn't that cool? So yeah, we've got the Jew back in here. Let me scroll down again. Ash says, such a good pickup, so much profit in this. Would be cool if you can keep track and work out how much you get from all of it. I'll have a go. It's from a Christmas Christmas advent calendar. What, the white Wookiee? Oh, that might be a good figure then. Might have a bit of value on its own. Plus 9K says, yay, I finally caught a live. Well, you say yay, unless you're interested in Lego, it might be a bit dull. Um, I'm just going through, if you've just joined us, uh, I don't know, oh, we've got 98 people in, welcome guys. Um, I'm just having a rummage to find out how I did with my Lego pickup. Um, there's loads of Star Wars in it. I paid 150 pounds for all the Lego, it's about 35 kilos roughly. Um, I just wanted to have a rummage really, it's the first chance I've had, it's a couple of these little walkers here, with these interesting looking brown Stormtrooper guys, I don't remember seeing the manual to them, um, mm -mm -mm. hey Paul, he says, question, have you had any stuff from the AT show Brave Star? No, I don't think so. Hi everyone, by the way, I was a bit giddy about the title. What the title of this video? What did I what did I put? Star Wars Lego Hall or something. Oh bye Shazad. Yeah, I'll have some fun with the Lego. I'm not sure how much fun anyone that's watching will have, but yeah, I'm like a, a pig in um oh there's another walker. These are cool. Look at that gun.
And there's another, see that looks like a little droid carrier ship to me as well. Oh, there's three of them. Who knows? Right, figures. Oh, here we go. C3PO sitting at the bottom of there. I love Star Wars Lego figures. So many people collect them, and I can see why. There are so many droids. This would make sense if that was a droid carrier because there are. Oh, promise. Come back, droid. Oh my god, there are just droids. These little tan coloured droids everywhere in here. I don't remember seeing the manual. There may be manuals in other boxes I haven't pulled out yet, but I just grabbed about, I don't know, eight or 10, and there's loads and loads more. There's an R2. There's one of those Imperial Guards from that set I saw the book for. Hey, Sam. That's resetting Polly, who is actually Sam. Let me read a few comments. Uh, hi all, how's everyone today? Says Fiona. Yeah, good. Um, we had great fun at the auction. For those of you that got involved, thank you again. Um, everything has been paid for. Uh, I think there's a couple of loose ends to tie up, but pretty much everything else has been sorted and, and items are on the way to the buyers. Um, the next step in that, this isn't gonna be about the auction, but the next step is what we couldn't get to last night, we're going to auction off on the Facebook group. Um, so there's going to be a few extra lots added. I, I've got to add some bits. I think Tom is and, and others. And then all of those uh, posts on the Facebook group with the items and the descriptions, you will be able to bid in the comments below. Um, and then I'll, we'll do a live stream uh, the weekend, Saturday or Sunday. And one by one, we will end the bidding on those live. Um, so that's how we're going to wrap up everything that was left. And then there's a bunch of stuff that's going to go into a raffle. And then we'll be done. Don't know who that is. Is that Ray? It might be Ray. Looking at the costume, it looks like Ray. It's not really focusing. Yeah, I reckon. What do you think? Anyway. Um, Sue says, I got a bit legoed out a few months ago, having a break, still got to build an ATAT, then on to Batman, Doctor Who, a maze and Technics Arctic stuff. It's such an investment in time though, isn't it, Sue? At least from what I've seen so far of the Star Wars stuff, a lot of my work is done. Although when they're part built, it doesn't always make it easy, does it? So we'll see. The Star Wars stuff will be worth my time, almost certainly. Hazer here. Mind-blowing hauler, though. I'm getting sick looking at it. Yeah, you've never been a big Lego fan. Are you going to focus on sh sorting Star Wars first and then order missing parts? I will probably start with Star Wars, yeah, and build up those sets. If it's worth the time and money, I will order parts, but I don't tend to do that. Uh, George, did you see my post about the vintage charity shop in the tap chat? Absolute board game porn. No. Do you want to share where it was? You can PM me if you don't want everyone else to know. Oh, sorry, it's just jumped. Wow, so much chat. Um, that's the Stormtrooper transport you have instructions for. <coughs> I don't know which one you're meaning at the minute. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Dust kicks off my allergies and it makes my throat close up. So bear with me if I start coughing. Uh, reselling Polly. Oh, my God, I hate Lego, but I see the potential in selling it. It's not for me. Yeah, I've said it many times. <coughs> you have to have a tolerance for Lego to deal with it. Oh, I need a drink. This is uh, pink grapefruit juice, by the way. I love that stuff. Hi, Peter and BCP. Um, Vincent, hello, says, Lego is so time-consuming but satisfyingly good. 
when a great set is completed. It really is. And when you get those pictures done and it just looks cool and then you list it and it sells within days, you know, the work is worth doing. Um, right, I'm catching up now in the chat. Yes, it's Ray. I thought it was. That's Ray. She goes with the red vehicle. That's right. Yes. That's what she's whizzing around that desert planet in the beginning of that film. Yeah. I really loved Star Wars, but I can never remember, you know, what's what and who's who. I'm not that geeky about it. There you go. So that's Ray on her little ship. Do I have a manual for that? That's a whiz past the manual for that. I think there must be more manual somewhere in this, or they discarded a few. Don't remember seeing that one. Oh. Well. Sorry, I've got a runny nose now as well. Excuse me. Um, <laughs> just came across your YouTube channel today. What's the Facebook group called? Um, there's two. There's one where we all kind of hang out and talk about buying and selling on eBay. That's called the Tat Chat. Uh, so if you search Tat Chat, you should be able to find it. I don't know if there's a link below. Uh, the one I mentioned is for the auction where we've been raising money for cancer charities. And that's the reseller charity auction. If you search that in Facebook, you should uh, find it. Hi, Death by Glamour. Hi, guys. I'm, listen I'm listening whilst still revising listings to mobile friendly. Ah, yeah. Did you see the video I put out? R2D2 and, and 3PO go with that grey pod. Great pod, this. Okay. This is going to take quite a bit of sorting. I get my 18-year-old to build any Lego I pick up on the rare occasion, says Reselling Polly. Good plan. Sue, yes, it is. Sometimes I've had one, had one and had what? Sometimes I've had one a thought was built but taken it to bits to check and found it's not been built correctly. That's a pain. Oh right, yeah. Yeah, I've had that before where you've got a, a part built set, but the yeah, they've messed it up and it makes it really frustrating because you can't build it properly, so you have to, yeah, take it apart and start again. Ooh, love pink grapefruit. Yeah. It's really sour um i like buying this because ellen doesn't drink it she gets through so much juice in our house and because it's really sour she can't stand it so it actually stays in the fridge no vodka in it barry no okay i'm gonna whistle the end i'll try and keep up with the Sue, oh, you see, you've now made me want to start building again, but my room is currently covered in Sylvanian. Ah, oh, you do find some good stuff, Sue. Oh, how cool is that? Tap points. Oh, everyone will know who this is. That's a really nice figure. I'm just going to put out some figures for a while. Look. They're really not showing, are they? See, the money in just the figures, you know, if, if I were to just put all of these figures together, stick them on 99p star auction, I'd probably get most of my money back, but not that I'm going to do that. Look at him. He's a, a Gungan. It's not Jar Jar, I don't think. I don't remember Jar Jar having a little brown bit on top of his head. Goes with the cantina. Oh, that would make sense. It's where he was shot, wasn't he, by uh, Han Solo? Spoilers. That's Greedo. Loads of people got Greedo. Peter, I'll give you the tap point for that. Nick, I'll PM you as I'm sorting through loads of Star Wars Lego sets at the moment. Maybe able to help complete. Okay, yeah. I don't know how soon this is going to happen. I have, I do my usual thing. I've got a bunch of things on the go. I'm, I'm doing FBA at the minute. Um, the loft is about half emptied of Christmas stock. 
So what I'm trying to do actually, so I've got piles of it here, cosmetics and stuff that I'm sending in. Um, that's what I should be doing. But I just get sidetracked because this is more fun. Um, but yeah, once I get onto it, I will let you know. And, and vice versa, if there's stuff I've got that you need, we can work something out. There's loads of these droids in here. Two, three, four, five, six. They are literally everywhere. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, I must have, you know, that battle in episode one with the Gungans and the droids. Look, it's just piles of them. Oh, that's cool, look. Is that a Gungan's shield? Then you've got X-Wing fighter of some description. That's so cool. I can really see why people collect these. Another one of those guys, that, one of those walkers that I've found. <clears throat> hey, Pommy Pickers. How's it going down under? Good morning, guys, from a very wet Queensland. Is it rainy season there right now? Luke, Return of the Jedi, says Stephen. You know your stuff. Nick, pink juice, pink phone, and women's clothes. Anything you want to say? You make your own minds up on that one. I'm in touch with my feminine side. Ooh. Right then. Who's that? It's not gonna it's not gonna focus very well. Is that Luke's dad? No. Dunno, he's got grey hair. Assuming he's got the right hair on. It's not it's not Obi Wan. No, he has long hair, doesn't he? Don't know if he's meant to have that sabre. Check for teeth marks. Um, hopefully, so far it's been in really, really nice condition. Bricklink, yeah, I've used Bricklink before. Oh wow, sorry, loads of chat. Yep, Gun Gun Shield. Um, when you buy Lego missing bits, Nick, do you prefer Bricklink or Brick Owl? It's been a while. Um, I tended to go on the site that has what I need, if you know what I mean, so I can make up a, an order or from an order from one seller. But I've used eBay just as successfully to buy spares. Um, there's some really great shops on eBay. So, Obi Wan, you reckon that's Obi Wan? Ah, oh, maybe. Yeah, yeah, that does make sense. That's not a name I've heard for a very long time. So yeah, it's great. Ah, Emperor. Very cool. The last lot I bought must have been very, uh, must have been well, excuse me, well played with because they all had the wrong heads and hair. Yeah, this thankfully looks like it's been built, put on display, and then maybe just taken apart and put in boxes because they don't look like they've been messed up. That's cool. Is he from the band? Is that the Cantina band? What's that book? Oh, yeah, there you go. Right, yeah, it is the Cantina. So it's even got Han Solo sitting at the table. So this is where Greedo comes in and then they... they he shoots him under the table. So you've got the band. Yeah, I've seen most of this set now. And we said that was what, maybe 50 quid? Happy days. So yeah, more band members. Uh, there's two. Certainly two of them. Reselling Polly got the Hogwarts castle from Harry Potter. That was my son's in a box, but too, uh, but just can't face building it. There's some money in there. That'll be worth an hour or two. 
Hi, Bianca. I bought this uh, a couple of weeks ago now. I met a chap at a car boot sale months ago. Uh, took his number because he said he had some Lego. And I said, well, I buy Lego. Uh, he eventually got in touch. And we negotiated a deal on this lot, which is approximately 35 kilos. Um, but some really, really good stuff in here. Paid 150 for the Lego. Um, I probably would have paid 350. And he also had a massive load of Nerf, which is tucked under there. You may be able to see some of it, the orange bits. And I bought all of that off him as well. Yeah, anyway, the figures just keep coming. Ah, oh, is that Wicket? How cool is that? Hey, Tom. Who shot first? I don't know. Well, I think only Han Solo shot anyway, didn't he? Can't remember. That's cool. Look, it's a it's a it's a regular body underneath, and then you've got half a at Leewok. Makes him all fat. The Jawa. These figures are just awesome. So yeah, um, happy happy days. I mean, I haven't even gone through half of this really. Stormtrooper, 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 Stormtrooper. Oh. Is that Vader without his helmet on? That is, you know. That's Vader. Fiona, is eBay the cheapest place to shop online for Lego? I don't get out to go places to look, but want to get some Harry Potter Lego. I'm not sure Harry Potter Lego, Lego is cheap anywhere, really. I know, Nick, I need to get my shizzle together, <laughs> says reselling Polly. Yeah, it's not always appealing if you're not into Lego. See, I'd do it for fun. This is the thing. Really, <coughs> my juice repeating on me. Really epic. You got this from networking at the boot sale. <coughs> yeah, I really thought it would come to nothing, but it pays to put yourself out there. Oh, there's that white Wookiee if you weren't in earlier. We reckon that was uh, an advent calendar thing. That would make sense. Look, he's got like green and white detail on him, like Christmas. Stormtroopers. Assorted. Is there one of these little uh, ships that comes in and lands and then walks, whatever they're called? Missing a bit. Oh, what's going on there? Right, any more cool ones? I think we'll move on, move on from this box in a sec. Ooh. I didn't see any Ewok sets. In the instructions but there's another Ewok. When does the bidding start? I'm not I'm not auctioning this lot. You can throw out a number if you like Tom. Let's see what we can do. Oh wow cool. I was talking I don't know if you were in Tom I was saying that um, I've been working a little bit on the uh, Facebook auction today. I've taken down all of the posts of everything that's already sold. What's left on there should all be going on auction on the Facebook group. I figured tomorrow we'll dedicate the tat chat to looking at what's on offer and kicking off the Facebook auction. That's going to run through to the weekend when we'll end all the lots on another live stream. And then it should all be finished apart from uh, the raffle. There's a bunch of stuff in the raffle. Um, I've got a list, but it's now underneath all of the manuals. That looks like another Luke to me. He bored yet, folks. Hey, everybody's favourite. 
the Yoda. There's various different Yoda figures, isn't there? Over the years, they've kind of improved the quality of him. A tuft of white hair. <laughs> £2.50. That'll buy you this much. <laughs> uh, try again, Tom. Oh, check this guy. Ooh. Now, what was he called? Was it Chief Chirpa or something? Is he like the Ewok leader? He's got the little like, skull on his head. There's a bunch of Ewoks, but I certainly didn't see any Ewok... Um, you know instructions anyway they're just to give you an idea these are all star wars figures i'm still pulling out so there's another 10 or 12. i now have a heap in front of me another one so many of these droids just coming out of them oh crap come back yeah so We'll call that box one. I'm going to leave those figures there. These back in here. If you weren't here at the beginning, I've got three of these um, official Lego uh, containers, and these are these have I think most, if not all, of the Star Wars stuff in. And loads and loads of figures. And then there's one, two, three, four, five ginormous crates down there. There is some mega blocks in one of the crates, um, but it is Halo, so it has a bit of value. I haven't really looked at that either, so I might take a look. You're basically discovering what I've got along with me because all I've done is peek in the boxes. That's cool. I think this jaw opens, isn't it? Yeah, there you go. Oh, epic. No, I don't know. So, let's put this one away. We'll have a look in box number two. Did somebody watch Solo? I haven't watched Solo. Normally when the Star Wars films come out, I get together with my brother-in-laws and go and watch, but we had so much going on. We didn't get it organised. I don't know if it was any good. I loved the solo film. Good. Well, I still need to see it. I don't know if it's in the cinema still around here. Probably not, because I think it's out on like DVD now, isn't it? Hi, Mukhtar. Um, all the Lego I'm showing cost me 150. Um, it's approximately 35 kilos. Three of these. This one you can see, Sam, at the... Uh, Sticker treatment from a young kid. I used to do that. Who did this? Back in the 80s, I, I stuck stickers everywhere in my bedroom, just ruining furniture as I went. Right, this one isn't very full, but it's apart from that, which was, we saw the instructions to this, that's from the Lego movie, whatever that ship was. Yeah, this one is not very full, but it's mostly figures. You may have seen the Hulk. There he is. That's rather cool. And then, yeah, it doesn't look like Star Wars. It looks like a mixture of, these are the little, I think they've been buying those Lego figures you can get in the packets. His head's on back to front. Oh, no, it's not. There's, there's, a, there's a guy dressed up as a bunny with his hands handcuffed behind his back. The hell was going on there? That's some sort of freaky play this kid was doing that. Handcuffed bunny rabbit. I don't know if there's any more Star Wars. I don't know there is. Star Wars figure. Star Wars figure. A bit larty. Put them up there. But yeah, just lots and lots of city, city, uh, I don't know what that is. Oh, that's not Lego. What is that? I have no idea what that is. 
Certainly not Lego. Um, there's a hot dog guy. I assume that just fits over a basic Lego body if I can find one. There's a Santa Claus. So there's basically, I don't know, 50 to 100 figures in here. Ah, oh, Lego Advent Calendar. I've just listed a massive bunch of them. Pink Pig Guy. Oh, what? Look, where's the, where's the Bunny Guy? So we've got Bunny Guy handcuffed behind his back. Pig Guy or girl. Well, I think it might be a guy. Handcuffed behind his back. <gasps> what was going on there? Some serious money in that, Nick, for 150. Yeah, definitely. Um, that's why I bought it. Kids with toys. Yeah, I know. What sort of game was he playing? Hi, David M. How are you? Yeah, I should do well, Mukhtar. It, it was an, it was a nice pickup. It's been a while since I've had a big lot of Lego, but this is what I used to do all the time when when I was just doing Lego. Going back, was it five, six years ago now? Um, so it's been a while since I've had a haul on this sort of scale. Yeah, I can't see much more in West Star Wars. Ooh, cool little pig. Um, loads of city figures basically in here. A few maybe Marvel. Interesting. Yeah, so that's that box. Figures, animals, accessories mainly. And that ship that I've got the instructions for. I had not seen the Lego movie. Oh, hello. But that was a Lego movie instruction book, certainly that had that picture on it. Was it? I don't know, confused. Right. Let's have a look in this third one. The one covered in stickers. This one is pretty much full. Now we've got instantly some Star Wars again, part of a ship. Um, I don't know what that was once. Do, 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 do. Oh, sorry, I thought that was at the bottom of the chat, but then it just jumped miles. Um, Ah, oh, see, you know your stuff. Bunny Series 7, Pig Series 12. I doubt they're worth doing on their own, own though, are they? The, uh, the little packets, uh, the figures from the packets. That's a Star-Lord figure, Nick. Okay. People fight for Lego now at boot fairs. Yeah, I was surprised. When I met this chap and I bought the Playmobil off him, he just seemed really unaware of what he had. Um, when I said to him, yeah, Legos, because he said, I bought the, the Playmobil off him and he called it Lego. And I said, this isn't Lego. But then I think I might have said, do you have any Lego, though? Because I buy it. And he said, well, I do at home. You know, is that worth anything? I said, yeah, you should have bought it down here. But I'll I'll come and look at it for you if you want and make you an offer. And that's when we exchanged numbers. And then I didn't hear for weeks. Um eventually i no how did it go oh that's it he was going on holiday so i left it for a week or so i didn't want to you know pester him and then eventually we got back in touch and um yeah we sorted out a deal this again looks like mainly a ah seen that before that's a marvel thing isn't it I'm sure that is anyone know who that is try and keep to the bottom of the chat Uh, oh, I just saw a question. Is there a bumblebee in there, Nick? That would be good. 
No idea. There's a shark. Oh, well, the shark costume. <coughs> oh, Bianca, are that all Legos behind you in the boxes? This is all from the same haul. This goes down one, two, three, four, five crates, and the ones at the bottom are bigger. There's loads of it. That's Marvel Modoc or Modoc, is it? Oh, okay. From X Men, right? Yeah, I thought I'd seen that before. So yeah, this looks like a right mixed bag. There are some Star Wars bits in here. I can see a few Star Wars figures lurking. So gonna have a lot to go through. Star Wars, it might be. I'm not sure whose body that is. The very cool King. I don't know if that's one of the. Uh, Little Lego poly bag figures. Oh wow, so many figures in here. Oh, this is from the um, what's that? The Rock Miners. What were those sets called? It's probably got a jewel in it. Oh no, it's got it's got a minifigure head in it. Oh, how weird. Oh, what were those blooming sets called? My memory is appalling. Rock, something or other. And you can get bigger, like, rock monster things. <laughs> oh, dear. Werewolf guy. Rock Raiders. Ah, oh, you know your stuff. Oh, dear. Star Wars. Oh, hello. It's a Yeti. He looks like a Yeti to me. Hi Lisa. Lock poo. Power miners. Yes. That rings a bell. Had a bunch of sets of that in the past. So yeah, this box is loads of nice. Ooh, nice Ninjago figure there. Some of the Ninjago ones I've sold individually. You can get quite good money. Sometimes tricky to find out who you've got, but it's worth doing your research. He's gonna be worth looking up. He's got a you know, double sword on his back. He should slide out, look. <sighs> Very cool. That Yeti needs an ice lollipop. Ah, oh, you know your stuff, see. Oh, Star Wars, isn't it? No. It looks like one of the... The hat looks right for Star Wars. You know that the, like... Now, who, what are they called? Episode one again? He doesn't have a beard on. It looks like the guys, you know who I mean. They sound like they're talking Chinese. They sort of mumble a like, lot. With the big hats on. And the strange mouths. Who are they? Hi, Pete. Hi, Nick. Just finished having a Lego auction for minifigures and about to sort. 200 Star Wars figures. Oh, have you just joined us? We looked at about 200 Star Wars figures earlier. Most of them are now here. <laughs> um, that was the evil wizard for series 13. Oh, okay. But he looks like the, 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 the guys, you know, the trade Senate guys or whatever in Star Wars. I know what I'm thinking of. Uh, oh, there's another R2 in here. So, yeah, this set, uh, there's lots of these figures. These all look like um, out of the poly bag series. Oh, that's another advent calendar ship. So annoying that I made that listing up already. Don't really want to go back to it and add to it now. Could do, I suppose. Ooh. Skeleton scuba diving spaceman. R2 again. How many R2s is that? One, two, yes, at least three we've found. Anyway. So, yeah, that's a pretty good box. There's another Ninjago with two swords again. Pretty nice. Ah, wings. These are for the Geonosian guys, aren't they? You know what I mean? They've not been uh, they've not been put on. Or oh, do they double up? 
can't remember. Hmm. Oh my word. If I dig down in here, it's all figures at the bottom. There's so many. Got some castle stuff, some knights. Oh, Hobbit stuff, but look a bit. That Lord of the Rings. Might be. Oh, wow. Yeah, this box just looks better. Uh, oh, nice Indian squaw. Star Wars, Ninjago. Hey, first Harry Potter I found. Just a regular Harry. Well, I'm in here all night, but I won't. Hmm. Star Wars again. So, yeah. First Ninja is definitely from a Lego Dimensions add-on set. Oh, really? Okay. What, the red? No, the gold guy. This one. That's interesting. Could probably get your money back on the minifigures alone. Probably. Do -do -do. You can see why people do just do Lego. It's the, the market for it is insatiable. I just get bored too quick. I can't limit myself to just doing one thing. I get, ooh, fine. I get bored. But once in a while, a big haul like this, I can handle. So that that's where the kind of cream of it is, from what I figured out. And then you've got over here, if I, I don't know how far I can point it down. We've got five crates where the bulk of it all is. Oh, ding, round two. Um yeah, so I'll have a quick rummage. I won't keep you all night. Please go if you're bored. <laughs> We've got 118 in. If you just join me, I'm just having a rummage through uh, a Lego haul I picked up um, a few weeks back. I haven't had a chance to go through it. Um, see you, Peter. Thanks for popping in. The Golden Ninjago looks like Lloyd Gold from set 70505, worth about £10 on its own. Nice. Oh, did anyone say what that was? It looks a little bit like boxy, like it's Minecraft, but it's not Minecraft, is it? I'm gonna write that down. Do, 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 do. Lloyd, what did you say? Lloyd? Lloyd Gold, 70505. Cheers for that. We have a blue base plate, another smaller blue, blue base plate, green base plate, green base plate. So there's a bunch of plates in here, um, which will no doubt go with some of the sets. That looks Ninjago-ish. Um, this looks interesting. I can see wings. Oh, here we go. Maybe that was, hold on. Oh, no, I don't see a dragon there. This elf stuff. Uh, the guy said that well, certainly all of that was in it. So hopefully it is, but there's no dragon on there. I don't remember seeing another set of the dragon in, but that is nice. I'll just stick that on there. It'll look vaguely right. Day. Look at that. Should open his jaws up. Open up. Brush your teeth. Thank you. That is cool. Um, yeah. Ooh. Another wing. So there is all sorts in here. Now is this? Oh no, that is Lego. Like I said, there was a bunch of Halo Mega Blocks. Uh, oh, now this is. 
And this looks like this elves stuff, maybe. Yeah. There is tons and tons. See, there's loads of these Friends figures in here. That's what I was saying earlier about the Friends figures, the new design. They're sort of taller and thinner. Um, they're not much taller, actually. A shade taller. But they've got more human dimensions, you know. They're not so boxy. So that's Lego Friends. And it looks like the Elves figures are the same design. And those Disney ones I saw. Ooh, that's a point. Haven't seen any of the uh, Disney figures yet. Oh, Starburst. Sweet, anyone? Uh, strawberry, maybe? Starburst? Save that for later. Not. Okay. Well, I don't really know what I'm looking at here. There's, is that Lego? Oh, it looks like it is, you know. Lego Dolphin. I've never had a Lego Dolphin. Check that out. Um, ooh. Bonus. Yep, that is a sealed 41044. Friends pack. That'll probably go to Amazon. Oh, I love these. They used to have these in some of the uh, Harry Potter sets. Little like stone staircases. Very cool. So yeah, I don't really know what I've got in here. To be perfectly honest. It looks like friends and those L sets. How cool is that? But there's kind of too much to look at. There's figures and parts of figures everywhere in here. Sharpie to work. Oh, yeah, bright pink. Ellen can have that. So that's that box. That's got to be know, eight to ten kilos. Well, no, maybe a bit less. Actually, I don't know. I was going to weigh it, but I can't be bothered to move one of those off the scale. So, yeah, that's that. There's going to be a lot of work in there sorting all out. Although some of it's made, look, that's a kind of crystal palace thing. And then we've got four more. Give you a tenner to eat it. Sorry, I wasn't looking at the chat. Eat it. Uh, oh, Pete says I'll get about five pound per Lego friend fig. Per figure? Really? Defo elves, I get I've got a load of it somewhere. Eat it Nick, says Barry. Sorry, only just joined. Did I miss you saying how much you paid? Uh, 150 pounds for the Lego, approximately 35 kilos. Uh you've missed all the good stuff. Uh which was I don't know how many Star Wars figures and, and sets and stuff. Um yeah, so my money's back there already. Ooh, hello. That looks like this. Yeah. Okay, that looks like the front of this here. Okay, cool. Oh, I've got such an itchy nose. Ninjago stuff, I'll look at it maybe. Isn't Lego great? Lego Disney princesses. Now I don't hold much hope that what's meant to be in here is in here. Oh, I don't know. Hey, Cinderella, maybe? Don't know. That might be in there, you know. Oh yeah. There's a little dressing table. So there is loads of gear in here. What the hell's going on there? Ooh, hello. Hmm. 
Nice. Get the flying horse. What do they call a flying horse? Pegasus? Is that right? It's not a unicorn, is it? No. Yeah, so this looks like it is predominantly the elves and friends stuff. Don't know quite what we have here. Oh, it's a pen. How do you? Oh, yeah, pen. Oh, yeah, that works. Men's horse. And the rubber. That there. Yeah, so again, lots of sorting to do here. You can see friends figures are coming out everywhere. If my nieces came around and saw this, they'd go bonkers because they've got some friends Lego. I could sort out a bunch for them, actually. Uh, yeah, don't know. But that is an epic box. There's so much value in there. And box number three in this pile. Hi, Andrea. That's Aurora from Sleeping Beauty. Okay, what did I say? Cinderella, I think. Itchy nose from all the dust. Yeah, I have allergies. I have allergies to dust, which isn't great with what I do. Well, that would take ages to sort them all and do the research. Will you sell them in bundles or individually? Um, I will try and work out what sets I think I've got here. Look them up using the set numbers. Uh, looks like I don't know, maybe three quarters of this I've got manuals for. So look up the set, see, you know, if that set's worth my time, I will dig it out and build it. If not, I will just pull out the Star Wars sets and build those. And then I, I don't know how I'll proceed with the rest of it. Could pull out the figures, sell those off individually, do little batches of friends stuff. Don't know. Um, this looks like it's got the Halo Mega Blocks in it, which is this stuff. Uh, it looks deceptively like Lego. It doesn't have the Lego written on the studs. Um, but if you've got the figures with it, it can have some value. So don't completely disregard it. There's the top of the Halo figure. Uh, there's a bunch of that in this box. I think still most of it in here is Lego. Yeah, there's some police sets in here that are Lego. Oh my word, so much of it. Some Technic stuff. It's always nice. Technics Lego sells well in bundles, just any Technics pieces just lotted together. These sell well on their own, actually, if you get tracks on their own. Um, but I don't really want to go to that length. That's what I used to do years ago, sell with a part number. And it works really well, but you kind of have to dedicate yourself to doing it. And... That's not that good. Yeah, so that box is a slightly annoying mixture of Mega Blocks, Halo stuff, and Lego. Just called a winged horse. Pegasus was a name. Okay. Hi, Andrea. Nick is playing with Lego. I'm not playing. I'm rummaging. Allergic to Legos. I'm allergic to most things. Frustration with Dust, cats. I'll be no good around your house, Lisa. Went to stay with my sister, when was it? A couple of weeks back, and I was eye streaming, sneezing, because they've got one cat called Stanley. And I, I quite like cats in a way, as long as they're friendly. So I was, you know, 
saying hello, being friendly, and it just set me right off. So another one. The, the last two boxes are big and heavy. These are, I don't know, 10 kilos plus. And as you can see, these were taped up. So I've never even opened these. But we'll have a quick rummage. I can see some more of the Mega Blocks Halo. He was straight up with me about the Halo stuff. Um, and when I, I actually took scales because he said that it was it was a, a lot of Lego. Um, so I took scales and, and I bought it by weight. Well, I gave him an offer based on weight. Um, and he just took it. He didn't even come back and push me up, which I was very surprised at. Ninjago, that is awesome. But you see, if I don't have the man, excuse me again, if I don't have the manual for something like that, that's going to be a struggle to build. So there's more of this uh, Mega Blocks Halo stuff in here. Some stuff that shouldn't be in here at all. Mega Blocks Halo. Uh, that's Lego. Some of the police stuff again. A right mix match of God only knows what. Wow. Ninjago, I think. So it also looks like the, the figures had all been pulled out and put in those first few boxes we looked at. It's getting, it's getting down my throat now. Uh, Lisa, only four cats now, Nick. You'd be fine. One is more than enough. One is more than enough for me. Um, could this be the start of a Bricklink venture? No. I don't fancy going that route. I will part some of this out, uh, no doubt. But I've been and done my Lego parting out. Did that for a while. Uh, with some success, but it just um, it took over, really. Where did I get it all from? Uh, a contact I met at a car boot sale when I was buying some Playmobil. We exchanged numbers and eventually came to a deal on all of this Lego. So there's one more crate. And put this one down. Now this one had all of the manuals in, so I have opened this one um, to take the manuals out that were sitting in the middle there where that dip is. Apart from that, I don't really know what we've got. That is rather nice. That's a uh, pretty much complete. It's missing a panel there, maybe something at the back. Nice little Technics car. That's almost ready to go. Parts of the police station. I did see manuals for that. There's a multi manual set here of police. Um, six books, according to that. So that might be worth an evening to build up. Yeah, this looks like a lot of this is just the police station taken apart. Uh, yeah. Helipad, etc. It's got a helipad. Oh, actually, is that an airport? Oh, no, it's police. Yeah. There's loads of police bits by the look of it. So, yeah. Star Wars, maybe? Well, that is gone. Hacky Sack. Remember the craze for these in the late 80s, was it? Hacky Sacks. Safeguard. I remember doing Hacky Sack 
we used to like try and keep you up here on your feet and stuff on the beach when I was a kid. I wasn't any good at it. So yeah, that's basically a mixed lot of Lego with a bunch of Lego City and police stuff in. No figures to mention. There's a troll. <laughs> He's got no clothes on. I have no idea how long I've been live. How long have I been boring you guys with Lego? Oh, I can't throw him away. He's too cute. Uh, Alan's World says, the Golden Dragon set goes with Lloyd you showed earlier. <coughs> I sold for about £36 two months ago. Well, it won't be worth me trying to put that together. Time-wise, then, I wouldn't have thought. Oh, what's that? Oh, there's a Halo Mega Blocks figure. They're quite detailed. It looks like he's having a right party. Look at him. Put your arm down, mate. So, that gives you an idea. I don't think I'll be getting through this in a hurry. Like I was saying earlier, I have... My list of priorities at the moment well first of all we need to get the, the charity auction thing wrapped up and done because that's kind of filling my head at the moment that has been for the last couple of weeks um and then it's finish off fba get everything up to amazon um that i want to sell through this christmas i've been bringing down all the cosmetics from the lofts and all the toys and games that we bought at auction um that's pretty much sorted now um some of it i'm selling on ebay some of it i've, I've held back but the majority has gone up the cosmetics i've been working on again today this sort of stuff little cosmetics packs lip balms and you name it we bought it uh advent calendars i've sent in a bunch i'm merchant fulfilling a bunch they they've been going already that we bought up last January. So my priority is that. So when I'm actually going to get onto the Lego, I don't know. Although it is pretty good for Christmas, so it wouldn't be a bad idea. I've left this out. Right, let's dip in the chat. All this rustling is almost ASMR. What's that? Is that the whispering thing? Bianca, my daughter had a lot of trolls in different sizes. If you can get some of the vintage ones, the Russ, the original Russ ones, there can be some money in them. I think this is just a cheap knockoff thing. Oh, there's a pencil topper. Stick a pencil up there, if that's your thing. Uh, is Andrea into Lego? No. <laughs> Will she enjoy helping you sort this? She won't touch it. <laughs> Lego has always been my department. Um, even when we've um, had sessions of building stuff on the, on the, the table in the front room, um, she doesn't get involved. David, my nephew, does, but yeah. Did you lose anything from the heat of the attic? I don't think so. Um, I have in the past. I lost a bunch of Christmas candles, like really nice big Christmas candles that melted. They weren't beyond using, so I think Andrea just used them. Um, but no, I think the cosmetics, most of it was stuff that was okay. Luckily, some things that could have melted. I had some gift packs that had Christmas scented candles in. Thankfully, they were all stored the right way up. They were in glass containers. So if they did melt, they would have just stayed where they were. If they'd have been stowed on their sides, they would have all spewed out into the gift box and they'd have been ruined, but they were okay. So I think I did all right. Some of the gift boxes 
I don't want to unseal. I'm just taking a chance that the, the stuff's okay. I don't know. Uh, Stephen Bennett, hello, did I miss it all? Pretty much. I was just going through a big haul of Lego and having a look uh, how well I did. And I think it's a, it's a pretty big score. It would be a pure guess to know what it's worth. I couldn't even, couldn't even rustle up a guess. Um, oh, it's jumped again. Uh, where am I? Oh, sorry, the chat keeps jumping about. That naked troll can go with the bunny and pig in handcuffs. <laughs> Boglin's a great profit. Yes, absolutely. Do you prefer Lego or Playmobil Lego by far? I, I do enjoy listing Playmobil. It sells fast. In some ways, it's easier to deal with unless you're trying to build a big set, in which case they, they can be a right pain. But Lego can take a lot longer in some ways because if you've got a lot like this and you're trying to fish out every part to complete a set, you can lose hours just trying to find the parts. It's a bit brain numbing. But if you if you saw the beginning, you'll see that the Star Wars stuff in this looks to be contained in these really nice Lego storage boxes. The other two aren't covered in stickers. Uh, so most of the Star Wars stuff, I think, is going to be, you know, an evening's work, and I should have those sets sorted out. And that will be my money back on the Star Wars stuff, probably a fair bit of profit as well. But the rest of it, even if I just um, do it as a job lot or sell it by the kilo, plenty of um, money there. How long have I been on? <laughs> I have a box boggling, but the rubber really stinks. Interesting. Yeah, it is a time sink, Tom. Lego, in general. But I think the way I do it these days, I've, for me, I've got it about right. I will pick out the, the premium stuff um, and spend some time on that, and the rest will be sold off in bulk, I would imagine. I might like to, I might have a go at building that elves set if it's worth any money. I'm gonna look it up quick. I'm gonna have a quickly dip in eBay. Uh, so Lego, what is it? Four one oh seven eight. Quite a big set that one. Which would mean it's a fair bit of time, but we did find the majority of that. Right, let's do sold. I oh, know I'm not screen sharing. Oh, let me screen share. I will wrap this up soon, guys. <laughs> Don't feel you have to stay, though. Um, mm -mm -mm. My wife is a boggling. You can't say that, Stephen. It's outrageous. Um, yeah, so this set on completed. Uh, where's it gone? 47 i don't know if that's boxed it does say box in the title 55 75 with the box there i oh, know that's new um it's used so it depends i mean yeah a lot of these are boxed with the box 50 60 70 55, 100% complete with instructions. So that looks like it's unboxed. Don't know. It, it's all about time, isn't it, really, when it comes to this? And whether it'd be worth me trying to fish out all the parts for that. Ooh, what am I doing? But I do like a challenge as well. Hmm. Not really, she's lovely, yeah. You've still got your childhood Lego, Tom. Wow. I remember um, having a, a Lego set, it must have been late 70s or very early 80s, and it was the most simple Lego plane, just made out of the bulky, you know, the, the normal bricks with 
just flat wings. Might have even been a Concorde or something like that. Super simple set, but I built and took that apart so many times. What's the police station number? 60047C. Shall I have a quick look at that? See if that's tempting for me to build that up. And then uh, I'll let you wonderful people get on with your lives. There must be more interesting things to do than watch me find out how much my Lego is worth. Okay, let's quickly do this. What did I say it was? Do -do -do, do -do -do. Uh, 60047. Tom says, I found it after my grand passed away in her loft, made me cry as there was still stuff I'd made. Wow, that must have been like going in a time machine. Uh, are we on used? Let's go used. Right. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> God. So... No, I don't know that that would be worth the effort, to be perfectly honest. Might be. 45 there. Don't know if that's boxed, though. 52 they got with box. 36, but they've undersold that. 37 with box. Don't know. Don't know whether that one's worth spending the time because that was just in completely taken apart. There are a few chunks of it, but there's many hours of. of um, I wasn't choking on Lego. Um, I haven't eaten my my, spa, my the, the Starburst yet. I'm in bed at work. How does that work, Andrea? In bed at work. Hmm. Right, well, I think I'm going to get on. I'm going to go and chill out. I might try and finish this um, FBA shipment I'm working on. Chuck a bunch more gear in a box until I get 15 kilos and send it away. And then tomorrow um, we will make the lots that are on the reseller charity auction page available to bid on. In fact, I think a couple of people, or at least one person, has put a bid on something already, which is fine, but we haven't actually started that yet. There's going to be more stuff to be added on there. A couple of people messaged me today about adding things. Um, so when we do the tap chat tomorrow, I think we'll dedicate that to explaining how it's going to work, and we will perhaps screen share some of the lots and kick that off. And then at the end of the week, Saturday or Sunday, we will close the bidding on the things live on another stream and then that will finish that and they can be paid for and sent out and then we're going to do the raffle um, there's been a few more bits added to the raffle a couple of people messaged me today about that um, so yeah and then we'll have a grand total by that point um, Tom and I were blown away again yesterday uh, we surpassed five thousand pounds total raised so far before we finish off the Facebook auction and then the raffle and then of course there will be a video coming because these guys were saved by donations generous donations came in I, I've donated to save this guy because I felt people were picking on the poor little one uh, there were some very generous donations came in to save the gray or black one and the blue one which means by default this guy is taking the wrap so when i get time don't ask me when that will be in the next couple of weeks we'll make a little video i have some ideas so that will be coming your way um but between them these little furballs have raised approximately 500 pounds now probably beyond that so they've done their job 
Thanks, George. Yeah, thanks for taking part again and, and bidding and donating. You were a huge part of it, mate. <laughs> You'll have to wait and see, Sean. Yeah, sorry, Gingy man. I'm wrapping up. I don't know how long I've been on, but it's been a while. You can go back and watch it again, but it's basically me discovering how good or bad my Lego purchase was. And I think I've um, kind of hit the jackpot a little bit, certainly with the Star Wars stuff. So, yeah, happy days. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. We'll be live at six uh, with myself and Zaheer and whoever else is about. And then we will start the Facebook auction. Thanks for joining me. Hour and a half I've been on. Oh, there you go. Fantastic. I have some explosives if you want. I don't want to blow the Furby up. I, I tell you, me and explosives would, would be a bad mix. Yeah, that's a bad idea, Pete. We're not going there. On that note, thanks for watching. See you soon. Take care, guys.